Thank you for coming on it. I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to see you. После завтра бой. После завтра у меня бой. И я очень рад, что наконец впервые буду выступать в Америке. Хочу. Я постараюсь порадовать вас, показать очень красивый бой. I will try to make you happy and I will show you a really good fight. Thank you, Mr. Vladimir Vladimirov. I came with my trainers and my trainers right there. Vorona Vladimir. Mishko Alexander. I think a pride would be his toughest opponent. <laughs> he said he doesn't know. Nobody. Another question? We got another question? I, I don't know. How, how does he remain so calm? Because if you see Fedor walk down, he's very calm. Very calm when the bell rings. And then how does he turn it on? Это повседневная жизнь, то есть я такой, какой я есть. А в бою? Before the fight, it's just a real life. This is the way I am. А в бою я не агрессивный, я просто люблю свою, люблю 
то, что я делаю. И э, на самом деле я не агрессивный, я просто... У меня нет никаких эмоций, я стараюсь грамотно, с чистой головой делать то, что у меня лучше всего получается. And, and during the fight, I'm, I'm not aggressive. I'm just trying to do my, my thing. I'm just trying to be smart and cool and just use all my abilities and knowledge to, to win. Good. You'll see Saturday night. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Hey, hold up the bell. Hold up the bell. All right, we'll see you on Saturday. Thomas Max here to give it up. The Pride's undefeated heavyweight champion, all the way from Russia, Fedor Emelianenko. Give it up for him. Saturday against Mark the Hammer Colt. Let's go, Russia, where I was a few days ago. Pride's undefeated heavyweight champion, Fedor Emelianenko. Yeah. All right, let's get Colby weighed in. Mark, if you'd be so kind as to step on the scale there, sir. Tomorrow night, main event, Pride Fighting Championships, the real deal on pay-per-view. Thomas Mack Center, live for the first time in America from Las Vegas, Nevada. Pride Fighting Championships, the real deal. Tomorrow you'll see what a real mixed martial arts company is all about and what MMA fighting is. 224, Mark Coleman coming in at 224. Fader up on the scale there, please. Two twenty-four. Both guys waiting to stand. Let's get a photo opportunity right here. If we get you guys right here, Fader, if we can put you right here, please. Mark right here. And uh, face the crowd. Tomorrow night, these guys squaring off. All right, let's see a face-off, fellas. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Mark the Hammer Coleman, Fedor Milanenko. Coleman says he's got to find a way to stop this guy tomorrow night. No way. Says he's found it. Uh -oh. Mr. Saki Gamara, son, the CEO of Dream Stage Entertainment. Give it up for Saki Gamara. And also Ed Fishman, president of Pride USA. Before we get started, I want to just say something personally here. I've worked with this man for four years, and I want you guys to know how hard and what a pioneer Mr. Saki Gabari is for the sport of MMA. He has worked his butt off for the past ten years to get this sport and pride fighting to where it is, and he's finally brought it to America for you. So this is Mr. Saki Gabari. All right. Pride's undefeated heavyweight champion. First time fighting in America. This is Fedor, if you don't know his name. Um, thank you very much for coming, and I really would like to thank you for such a warm warm welcome. I really did not expect this. I cannot give you any forecast for tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. It's very hard to tell. I think that Mark is one of the biggest, one of the best fighters in the world, and I think he is a legend, and it's, and it's my honor to fight him. Thank you very much. Give it up, Fanny Milenko, taking on Mark the Hammer Coleman tomorrow night at The Real Deal.
All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to open it up some questions from the press. Uh, so, uh, members of the press, if you have a question, you have to raise your hand. Well, I think that for this fight, I cannot do some stompings and knee on the ground. But I think there's no problem for me because I was training a lot for this fight, and I think I can show a very good fight for everybody. All right, there you go. Go ahead, Josh. Next question. Uh, Josh Grouse, SureDog.com. I was actually wanted to expand on Loretta's question. I wanted to hear from Mark and uh, Fedor and Kevin. What are the effects of the rule changes compared to fighting in Japan versus fighting in the U.S.? Uh, for me, I mean, I'm not. A, I don't stop on the ground. I don't use elbows. I use my fists and I slam. So I'm a ground and pounder. So I have, there's no change for me. Same thing I've always done. Я, в принципе, не вижу особых изменений. Даже... I don't see much difference in the rules. Я думаю, смогу выступать по этим правилам. Ничего особенного. I think I'll be able to fight with these rules pretty good too. Mark, how will the, uh, the rules affect you at all? So, I'd like to bring a guy that uh, has been trying to bring this pride here for you for over 10 years. CEO of Green Stage Entertainment, please give it up for Mr. Saki Kabara. Josh can speak Japanese. Josh, can you hear me? Josh, your final maneuver was very explosive and also very effortless. And it wasn't the first time you were on your back. Were you fighting your time for the moment to make that reversal? Or how did that come about? Sure. I, I consulted with Psychic, and they said that at one point in the fight, that this position would appear, and that move would make itself apparent. No, 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 no. no. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, I've had seven fights in less than a year. I'm a little beat down. Uh, I, can still, I can still go with the best of them. But, um, I was conserving a little bit of energy because he was spending a lot in the clinch, uh, making him work for the takedowns, and I knew that inside control, he didn't have a lot of experience with striking, so it was going to be difficult for him to land um, really good strikes yet in his career. Although, let me paraphrase that by saying, uh, Pavel's career is very, very young, and he's had really strong opponents to begin with. I think the guy really could use a little bit of a building up period because he's an incredible athlete. He's great. He, he will be a really tough guy. I don't care what they say his age is. Um, he's got talent. So um, and I looked for my opportunity and then I went after what I love to dine on day in and day out. If you ask anybody that trains with me, you put a leg in front of me, it's going to get, it's just like I slather barbecue sauce on it and I just go to town. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, you're laughing, Brad, I can see it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I knew that in the transition, even for the hard bar, though, which was, which was um, very typical, but, um, I applaud that he went for the finish and not for just to hold, hold me down. So, um, the opportunity presented itself, and I just really hope that he's okay to fight another day and to improve on the skills that he already has. Pedro, how are you feeling the restrictions in the Nevada State Athletic Commission against uh, knees on the ground and strikes against your fight against Coleman and how it kind of allowed him to go into the second round? No, it was not a problem for me at all. Yeah, the rules did not really change anything for me. And I just, in my mind, I told myself that I was not going to do that. And that's it. Yeah, what's the likelihood of Fader being able to fight in February when we come back on the 24th? Then? I don't have plans for next year yet, but I really would love to come back here and fight for you again. Thank you. Right now, you know, it's not often that little children enter the ring or the cage and fights. Was it uncomfortable for you to have? Coleman's children crying, standing next to you after the fight. Yes, I felt very uncomfortable. And uh, I know how close people feel, 
and uh, my wife usually cries when she's at my matches, and kids, they, they suffer even more from that, so I can only imagine. And bring them.